All right, so the next two weeks, the last four sessions, are gonna be pretty solid. All right, we know that. But what I want you to do is not focus about what's gonna be at the end of the session. You know, what running have we got later? Or what's core gonna to be tonight? Don't even think about that. Okay, don't even think about that. What I want you to focus on is pushing yourself as hard as you can through the skills. Okay, because it's the only way you can get better, isn't it? If you go half assed through skills, um, you know, you're not going to improve as much as you probably should. So keep pushing yourself. Don't worry about what's coming later. What's Thursday, what's next week? Don't worry about that stuff. While you're here, let's do this work. Yeah, pretty important through this period that they do push as hard as they can, uh, get as fit as they can, um, build some strong resilience, uh, plus improve their skill work, you know, clean hands, um, effective kicking, um, you know, nice contested ball as well. Really important to hone in on some of those football skills as we head towards the uh, practice match phase. Let the ball zip around, just give it, give it, give it. Give, give, quick hands, quick hands, flick it, that's it Alex. Got to give it boys, got to give it. That's it, flick it around. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What do you reckon's killing us? Don't be afraid or worried about making mistakes. I'd rather you just go a million miles an hour than go in half paced and try not to screw up. Have a crack. Right, have a crack. Go flat stick. Our philosophy is to prepare the players to perform their best against the best and you know whether that's uh, local community, footy, academy, series games, TAC Cup, um, we've got them well prepared for that. On a switch in a game, you don't want to be standing still waiting for the ball to come to you. All right? So you just got to creep a little bit. Creep so when you catch it, at least you're on the move. I drift back a bit. Lose me. Lose me. That's it. Yep. Now I'm going to get you so you're going to accelerate and go. Go, 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 go. And we had about 25 players, under 16s and under 18s. We've seen some good growth um, through the Western Sydney region. There's still, you know, community football, we still want to continue to um, help develop. And I think that's a big part of our academy program with players, coaches, clubs, uh, really linking back into the community football program as well. All right, and what I'm actually noticing is that you're hitting more kicks. Because your intensity's up. Actually brings your skill level up. All right, really good. You want to get on the Giants website, easy chance. That's it, catch him, catch him on the lead, defend him. Yeah, we're pretty fortunate that we try to get the boys in pretty early through our development program around 13s, 14s, 15s. So by the time they get up to 16s, 18s, they generally have a pretty good bond amongst each other. Whilst they are from different clubs, um, they spend a lot of time in our academy programs, um, training and preparing and, and even playing to a small extent. Um, so they gel together pretty well. They're all there to push themselves and achieve high things. So there is a common bond between the players. That's where you got to try in your voice. Game of footy. You need your mates to talk and support you in a game of footy when you're knackered. Don't be selfish. Get around someone. That's it. Whatever you have to do, Badge. Jeez, footy's a hard sport. Hard sport, game of footy. <laughs>